Hey, friends all over the world. I want to tell you about something really dangerous that I that I realized. It's probably one of the most dangerous things I've ever. It's a trap that so destructive. And I want you to think about this. The most dangerous trap ever. Hear me. Hear me. When I tell you this is one of the most destructive things you will ever experience in your life. And I just recently have seen so many people and I just felt like I, I, need to, I need to say something about it. This is the most dangerous trap you will ever experience, you've ever seen. Is in, my, in my 20 years of, well, more than 20 years of ministry, this is the most dangerous. And the most dangerous trap I've ever seen is looking back, looking back. Consider Lot's wife, consider Lot's wife. Remember when God told Lot to leave Sodom and Gomorrah? And what happened? He said, don't look back. And what happened? Lot's wife looked back and she became a pillar of salt that represents bitterness. Many of you are falling for the trap. It's a snare. The snare of looking back. The greatest mistake I've ever made in ministry, the greatest mistake I've ever made in life is not moving on from my mistakes. The greatest mistake I've ever made in my life and ministry is not moving on from my mistakes. And some of you are looking back. You still talking about what's back there. You still talking about what they did to you. You're still talking about, you know, what used to be. And, and the biggest enemy to what can be is what was. The biggest enemy to what you can have is what you had. Can somebody hear me today? It's a trap, I'm telling you. Stop looking back. 2020 will never come back. 2019 will never be here again. It's over. It's gone. That season has expired. It's a trap. I'm telling you, so many people are falling for the trap of looking back. It seems it seems simple, doesn't it? Well, let me just let me just let me just take a peek back there. And guess what? Guess what? She never made it. Lot's wife never made it. She never made it because she took she said, "Let me look let me look at what I'm leaving behind." That's what some of you are doing. That's what some of you are doing. You're trying to look at what you're leaving behind. You're trying to look at what you let go of. You, some of you are trying to rekindle old things, old flames, old stuff. And it's toxic and it's deadly. And it's, what it's going to do is going to produce bitterness. The biggest enemy to... Let me, let me tell you a secret about God that maybe you don't know. God lives in the now. He doesn't live in yesterday. He doesn't even live in tomorrow. He lives in the now. He lives in the now. Don't look back. I'm telling you. Don't look back. Don't look back. 
And, and let me tell you something. There are things back there that will vie for your attention, but they're just a trap. Don't you look back. Keep moving forward. Keep moving forward. It's a trap. It's a trap. It's a trap. Looking back is a trap. Well, I just need to make sure. No, you need to make sure of anything. Move on. Move forward. Move forward. Upward. Stop looking back. Well, you know, because back, I admit, it's over. You will never be younger than you are now. Let me say that one more time. You will never be younger than you are today. Today is as young, I'm talking about age-wise, not you can look younger, you can be more youthful, you can have your youth renewed, but if you're 40, you'll never be 35 again. You'll never be 29 again. Those, it's over. Stop looking back. Stop obsessing over what was. Stop saying, I shoulda, I coulda, I would've. Looking back when you're driving forward will cause an accident. It will cause a wreck. And some of you have experienced a spiritual and emotional wreck because you keep on looking back. You're trying to relish what was. I'm warning you, this is a trap. It's one of the most deadly and destructive traps I've seen in my life. My ministry was looking back when I kept looking back. And there's, there's some of you listening to me. You need to let go. You're even trying to hold on to the relationships that you had with people. I'll never forget something that happened to me. I was talking to a friend of mine. And uh, we went to college together. Great person. And as I'm talking to the person... I realized that that connection was no more. I realized that it just hit me. I said, well, this, this relationship is, that connection is no more. So guess what happens? I know this, but, but years later, I try to reconnect. And guess what? It, it turns into bitterness. Some The reason why some of you, it's like trying to drink old milk. You're trying to drink expired milk. It, it's the same thing. It's like drinking expired milk. Once the expiration date comes and you keep trying to enjoy it, it's going to make you sick. Once the expiration date comes, there's some things in your life that the season for that thing is over. It's not working for you anymore. It's not going to work for you anymore. Because it's, it's over. It's, it's no more. It's done. It's done. That season is done. And you're still trying to, you're trying to relive it. You're trying to recapture an expired season. And guess what? It's making you bitter. It's making you bitter. It's... Let me tell you something. There's nothing more dangerous and more toxic than an expired season that you won't let go of. You know, you're, you're supposed to, that was there for a season. That was, a, imagine if Joseph tried to stay in the prison because he had favor there. 
Imagine Joseph saying, hey, I, I, got, I got favor in this prison. This is where I'm going to stay. He never would have ascended to the palace. You have to understand when it's time to move on. And when it's time to move on, stop looking back. Some of you have dealt with failures. You've dealt with disappointments. You've dealt with pain. And you're still holding on to it. You're still rehearsing it. You're still looking back there. You're still saying, well, you know what? I, you know, in 1972, this happened. Get over it. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to be insensitive. Get over it. Move on with your life. Move on with your life. Move on with your life. Stop looking back. Stop trying to capture something back there. There's nothing back there. Please share this video and remember and really share it this time because Facebook's been trying to slow my videos down. But please share it and remember Jesus is Lord.